Hi, welcome back to my channel. We have solved five questions that will come for sure in the exam or maybe similar type of question can also come. I hope you are practicing all these questions really well. If not, I do suggest to follow these questions and try to practice on your own because just by watching these videos, you will not get through the exam. Practicing these questions is a must. So in this video, we are going to continue with the questions. In this video, we are going to solve three more questions and the questions will continue in the upcoming videos. So please subscribe if you haven't. So let's get started. Here is the question number six. Create a pod called pod multi with two containers with a given specification. Container name with name container one and image nginx. Container two with name container two and image as busybox. And it should have a command sleep for 4800. So let's solve this one. So here we are on our playground. I'm going to use killer coda playground for CKI. So let us go ahead and solve this. We need to create a pod and it should have two pods. So first of all, we are going to create a YML file with the use of imperative commands. Once that is created, we will add the definition for the second container. So let us go ahead and create the first one, kubectl run and the name of the pod that is pod multi with hyphen hyphen image equals to. Let us give the first image as nginx and let us output this in YML format. So this is the imperative command kubectl run pod multi and we are specifying image nginx and we are saying save the output of this command in a file pod multi dot yml and hyphen hyphen dry run equals to client means kubernetes is not going to actually create this pod instead this is just a dry run the file is created let us edit this file and here is the file as you can see we have image nginx and name pod multi and then we don't have any other container or pod here so we are going to take help of the documentation and as you can see we can create another container with busybox 1.28 and we can specify command here and here we need to specify the command let us delete this echo part because we don't need that okay so we are saying sh hyphen c and the command let's save this one and apply this okay it says pod has been created let's check the output kubectl get pods I'd say two of two of them are running. Okay, so we have solved this one. Let us go ahead and move on to the next one. So the next question is create a pod called test pod in custom namespace. So here we need to use custom namespace instead of the default one and it should belong to test environment. That means we need to specify a label with env equals to test and backend tier as backend. We need to specify two labels and the image should be nginx 1.117 and it should be namespace custom. So let us go ahead and clear the screen and get all the namespaces. So as of now we have default namespace and other namespace. We don't have any custom namespace. So first of all, we are going to create that namespace first and then we will create our pod inside that. So let us go ahead and create the namespace kubectl create namespace and the namespace name should be custom and it says it has been created. So let us go ahead and check it. Okay, as you can see the custom namespace is available now. Now we need to create our pod. So let us go ahead and create the pod but this time I'm going to copy it from kubectl cheat sheet. So as you can see here is a command in which we can specify the namespace. So you can just copy this one and we can put it here and the name of the namespace is custom and image is nginx but with a version so it's 1.117 and name should be test hyphen pod. We also need to specify labels. So to specify label you can use another flag env equals to env should be test. So let us put it test and I'm just going to show you to take it down in a file and add one more label. So I'm just going to say hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run equals to client and hyphen o yml and save this to testpod.yml and then edit this file and as you can see here we have labels env equals to test so I'm going to add one more label and another level is tier equals to backend tier is backend so we are done with all the details that we need to put in i am going to apply this now kubectl apply hyphen f test pod.yml let's check it kubectl get pod so as you can see it is showing the previous pod that we created because what we have just created is in custom namespace so let us use kubectl get pods hyphen a so it is going to show everything running in all the namespaces so as you can see here, the test pod is running in custom namespace. So that is what we created in custom namespace. So this question is also completed. Let us move on to the next one. We need to get the node node01 information in a JSON format and store it in a file at node info.json. So let's clear the screen first and see what node we have. kubectl get nodes. 
So as you can see, we have one node, node 01. We need to get all of its information in a file and in JSON format. So there's a command for it, kubectl get node, node 01. And since we want the output in JSON, so you can specify hyphen o JSON, and we need to write this to a file node hyphen info dot JSON. So this is a simple command that you can make use of to get the information of a specific node. You can also get this command from the kubectl cheat sheet. Let us hit enter and this file must have been created. Let us check this. So here is the file node info.json. Let us see what's inside it cat node info.json. So as you can see, here is the complete details of this particular node. So this is the easiest way you can get the information of a particular node in JSON format. So far, we have covered three more questions. Overall, we have completed eight questions. I hope you are enjoying these labs. If you have any questions or any confusion, please do ask in comment section and stay subscribed because we are going to publish more content around it and we will try to cover all possible questions that will be asked in the exam. So I wish you all the best for the exam. Keep learning.